Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the domain of this logarithmic function. So whenever you're looking for the domain of a logarithm, you just want to take whatever's inside the logarithm, this piece here, and set it greater than zero. Because you can only take the log of positive numbers, right? The domain is the set of all inputs, so it's all of the x values you can plug in that makes sense. And so as long as this whole piece is positive, everything is good. So always, every time, step one, just do this. And there's a couple ways to do this. Um, you can do it algebraically or you can do it graphically. Let's do it graphically. Let's think about what this is. If I let y be equal to x squared minus 100, what is that graph? That's, that's a parabola. And it's shifted down by 100. It looks like this. Boom. Right, boom is negative 100 and it crosses the x-axis at 10 because 10 squared is 100 100 minus 100 is 0 and negative 10 right you plug in 10 you get 0 plug in negative 10 you get 0 we want to know where it's positive right that's what the question says right when is it positive so when is y positive well that's going to be over here it's the x values where the y values are positive and over here so we'll use parentheses because we're not including um, the tens because it's a strict inequality. So from this picture, it'll be negative infinity to negative 10, union 10 to infinity. Those are the x values where the graph of this function is positive. In other words, those are the x values where this is positive. So the x values where, uh, those are the x values that are in the domain of the function. I hope this video has been helpful.